what do you have in your truck? Today I'm gonna to show you exactly what I have in my truck. What do I have on hand? What's available to me every day? What screens or accessories do I wanna be looking at? Where do I want my phone mounted, my UHF? Just simple things like torches. Like what do you have in your interior or on your dash or mounted that you use kind of when you go on these trips. So today I'm gonna to show you my interior in the F-250. So here's the interior of the F-250. So when you're laying out the interior of your truck for touring, for driving, whatever, you kind of want to have things quickly on hand that you always kind of are always getting out. You don't necessarily want to be going digging for them under seats or in boxes or packed away in your canopy and try to keep, I try to keep the things from the vehicle and the canopy separate. So that way if, cause I use the truck for work as well. Um, I don't want to be forgetting things like winch controllers and stuff like that if I need to use my winch while I'm at work. So I like to have things a bit separate. So I'll go through what I've got in my interior. I love having a dash mat, um, especially to be able to Velcro things. And that's how I've got this Bush Company dash mat held down. So I think this is actually out of a Defender 110. I think that's what dash mat it is. And basically in this, I keep, We'll go into the first pocket here. So in this pocket here, I've got my head torch. And then I also have another next torch. Um, these two torches I keep up in here. So it's my LED LED lenser head torch. That way it's, it's quickly inaccessible. I see a lot of people putting their head torches over their um, headrests in their vehicle. I don't do that because I tend to find after a while it kind of stretches um, and then they, they kind of become floppy on your head. So I keep mine up in there. On this side, I have my Bully Dog um, tuner. So I'll just turn the ignition on. So basically this is a magnetic tuner that tells me anything and everything about the vehicle. Um, I don't really think they've got anything for Australian vehicles. Um, it's mainly the, the diesel trucks in America, so the F-250s, the Rams, uh, GMCs, Chevys um, is their main sort of focus. Um, they do a lot of performance stuff too for like Mustangs and stuff like that, but basically this tuner tells me all the information I need to know about the vehicle. So it's like having a scan gauge straight on hand. So you can see here, I've got ambient temperature, um, battery voltage, the coolant temps. Uh, I've got my DPF soot mass. So it'll tell me the percentage of what the DPF's doing. Um, exhaust back pressure, engine coolant, and you can set this thing up to display anything you want. So you've got it all on hand. Over here as well, I have a an Olight little little torch. I keep that on hand so it's always there. I'm not looking for a torch, it's it's up there. And then I also have my SOG multi-tool. So it's got this little bracket here that normally that's for your belt, but having this pad up here, this dash mat, I can clip it onto that and it's there. Down this side, I've got a um, torque it, pedal chip, plug-in controller. Coming over this side, I've got the XRS Connect GME radio. So normally when I'm going on a trip, I'll swap these. So this right now is held on with magnetic. And unfortunately before I bought mine, GME didn't have a magnet option because uh, I bought mine a while ago. So I have this mob armor magnet on there but basically what i'll do is um whenever i'm going on a big trip i'll swap my phone um and this to the outside so i can constantly grab it and use it as need be but while i'm not on a trip and let's face it we're all not going anywhere for a while i keep my phone on that side um moving down here um the f250 does have a power socket down here near your leg 
unfortunately it was the when the conversion was done that's never been hooked up um, not that I use it anyway like I'm not I'm not looking for power in the truck all the time because when I had the canopy on that's how I'm charging camera gear and stuff um, down here that's for my compressor aux 2 is for my light bars on the bull bar the steady and aux 3 is for my side lights um, that light up the side of the ground whenever I'm refueling and aux 4 I haven't hooked up any of that to I haven't hooked that up to anything yet so I love these upfitter switches that come in the F250 um, the new ones are actually mounted up here so these are all factory wired in and then you basically just hook your accessories to it which is really nice so obviously just the standard infotainment system and stuff in the F250 that I've got here um, got the four-wheel drive controls over here um, air conditioning vents um, kind of just standard but I'm also just showing you guys the layout of what I've got where um, so moving across on the dash mat in this pocket here I have my winch isolator key and I also have my winch controller the wireless controller and then under the back seat I keep the actual physical lead for the the winch I like to use remotes um, because I use my winch a lot at work for different bits and pieces like dragging things so I like to be out in the vehicle when I'm kind of pulling something um, or whatever in this center pocket here um, basically I carry this tool here so basically to uh, smash windows out of the vehicle if need be if we're trapped seat belt cutter so I keep that close on hand um, I've also got my iPad um, Mobama mount so I have a magnet that's actually in my rooftop tent right now but this basically sticks to the dash and I have a smaller iPad that has HEMA maps and that put on it so when I'm touring so that's what I keep up in that top pocket so something I carry on hand in my truck um, if all else fails and like I don't have the big canopy on and I'm out in the middle of nowhere because I do use my truck for work as well so I do go uh, remote fair often for work um, I've got a little solar panel here um, it just takes USB straight into it to charge things like your phone or you might have a sat phone or something like that so if all else fails my battery's dead in my truck I've got no power at least I have some sort of way of charging my uh, my phone or my sat phone I'm moving across there's nothing in that pocket and in this pocket here I've just got some um, just some campfire playing cards so just something if I'm bored um, that's kind of the dash mat. Um, I really like these pockets because things are kind of close on hand. They're not kind of hidden down in your center console or anywhere like that, which is really nice. Down here beside my leg, I carry my ARB deflator as well. So airing down tires. It's nice and close on hand. I don't want to go digging for it. I also have just... Um, some sort of wet wipes or, or something like that just to wipe your hands if you've been working on the vehicle on the side of the track or buddy eating in the eating in the car um, yeah have a, I have a rag as well just for cleaning the window fingerprints on things fingerprints on the bully dog tuner on my phone on that little microfiber cloth I keep in the truck as well so that's what's in that side pocket um, obviously just cup holders my wallet just kind of hangs out here um, I've got a pen just keep a pen and all these on hand so here I have like my iPad with the HEMA maps I've got an iPad 12.9 so that way I can uh, simply just use this pen I can find out where we are I can download all the maps directly from HEMA which is really nice But yeah, I really like having the, the pencil with the iPad, just so you can uh, look at things a lot finer and a lot cleaner. So, yeah, anyway, where are we? Oh, Alice Springs. Love to go to Alice Springs right now. It sucks because I did have a uh, 
Simpson tri Desert Trip book this year, which has now been cancelled, not happening, unfortunately. But we'll be back out there again, guys. It sucks. I was building the vehicle up, and uh, it's another video I'm going to make is um, all the rest of the mods that have got to happen to the vehicle. But yeah, building the vehicle up, ready for trips this year, and 2020 has just completely turned to crap on me. So. Um, overhead in the F250, there's no sort of console. I wish there was a nice, a nice big console up through the F250's roof lining. But I love the black roof lining. But basically, just got just sunnies. I've just got two spare pairs of sunnies. But honestly, now's a better time than ever to go out in the shed, go out your driveway, sit in your four-wheel drive, and go. Okay, what's here? What's missing? What do I need to remount? What do I need to stick back up because it fell off? Or just get things tidied up. Um, if you want, want to know where I got the dash mat, it's made by the Bush Company. Um, I'm pretty sure they do a lot of the standard Australian dual cabs. I think that one I've got is for a D Defender 110 because um, it was a bit square and a bit wider. I'm pretty sure that's the one I got. Um, but they have a bunch of different ranges on their website. So. If you want to get an organizer like that, organize your things in it. Like, where's your winch controller right now? Is it buried in your center console? Is it not even in your four wheel drive? Um, things like that. Get those sort of things organized. Um, do you have torches in your truck? Do you have your headlight, headlamp in there? Um, yeah, there's just there's so many different things that right now, with everyone in isolation, it's a good time to actually go through your four-wheel drive and sort things out. And especially where you spend most of your time sitting and you probably spend more time sitting there than you do in your lounge room at home. So it's a good idea to get that kind of all sorted, get it dialed in. And um, yeah, and that's kind of, I spent the kind of an hour yesterday just going through my stuff and um, I had a lot of junk in there from work and everything and just wanted to cleanse it all, clean it all out, know where everything is, is relocated back in its correct spot. And, yeah, so anyway, that's the F250's interior. That's the way I've got it laid out. Um, let me know in the comments below if there's anything you think I could add to my layout or my interior um, that you might have on hand, something I haven't thought of, and vice versa if I've given you a good idea today. Um, yeah, I don't always say this, but yeah, smash the thumbs up. It really does help, guys. Um, you might not think that it does you just by pressing the like button. The more likes the video gets, the more spread out across YouTube puts it um, to show more people like yourself that are interested in this kind of topic. So I'm going to go make another video for you now, and that'll be the next video coming up. So it's got to do with the mods. More mods coming on the F250 and the more mods that are coming to the Ranger Raptor and kind of where we are with that process since all this coronavirus things happened. So um, where we're actually at with the build process because this thing should have been done right now, but everything's kind of everything's up in the air right now and a lot of trips that i did have planned this year have been cancelled um <laughs> just my luck getting the truck nearly completely built ready to go and i had a big trip plan planned this year we were going to go out to fink uh simpson desert twice actually this year we we're going to go um and we had a bunch of different other short kind of camping trips um that i wanted to do like over weekends and that and unfortunately it's all just yeah it's all not happening now so but i'll keep the videos coming we're going to keep the build going and keep pumping out these videos so keep you entertained anyway i'll catch you guys in the next one see you